Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Some people are going to say I'm man bashing. I am not man bashing. What I am doing is trying to get my sisters to step up to the accountability plate. Let me say that again. I am not man bashing. Let me say that one more time. I am not man bashing. This video will not be about man bashing. Will, what it will be about, on the other hand, is sisters taking complete, unadulterated accountability for themselves. So, of course, I've been trolling the internet. I've been trolling social media. I've been uh, unfriending people left and right. It's some people that don't even know I've unfriended them. I don't care. Um, this is not about R. Kelly. Uh, this is completely, unadulteratedly about the black woman. Brothers, could you please have a seat to the left? <clears throat> Sisters, you have seen that the assault on you is rising. We have also seen that brothers and sisters alike and society alike they are defining our place. That Mickey D's video, I don't give a fuck how brothers try to justify what happened. That is unjustifiable. If that sister, which, and her reaction lets me know that she's been grabbed like that before. Sister, you are all you got in a crunch situation. Oh, their brothers hollering, and, and, and I love my brothers, and they hollering, oh, if I was there, but you weren't. And no brother like you was there. What brothers who, who holler, if that was me, you are a minority. Sister, you have to take your own protection into your hands. When our black men hold our protection hostage. Oh, I'm only, I only protect the women that I can command. Okay. Okay. I only protect my family. Okay. Okay. Why should I get involved? Okay. Okay. Sisters, how about we relieve our brothers of the burden that they seem to not want to carry, and that's our protection. Fuck it. A brother, I, I would never do that. But brother, in a crunch situation, I don't know you from a next one. In a crunch situation, I cannot count on you and any other person to protect my life. Sisters, you count on no one. That is your life. You were put here to protect it. To wait on a man to protect you. That sister would have been pulled over that counter and pommeled by that white man. You know it and I know it. And whether brothers know it or not, nobody still would have come to her rescue. Because we are still trained See, we don't want to talk about this. We are still trained 
not to hurt white folk on sight. Now we can talk about, we can talk about, let's, we gonna talk about what's fucking real. We were made people. We were bred. And in our breeding, they gave themselves a wormhole because they told us that God looked like them. So therefore, God is them. Therefore, you better not raise your hand to God because then you will be casted into hell. Because we're good, we're good God-fearing people. And it has been used against us since our breeding. Now you have to understand that in this breeding, the strong was not kept. The strong minded were systematically killed as an example for the weak-minded to make sure that that lesson got in that DNA good and strong and that the next generation would not go against it. You were made. Now our men are telling us, and it's a small percentage of y'all, so please again, those of you who would naturally protect us, please take a seat to the left. I am not speaking of you. And I am not man bashing. What I am doing is trying to bring an awareness to my sisters that every brother is not here for you. The only person you got is you. Now, if your brother want to help, that's fine. Your brother want to jump in? That's fine. But in crunch situation, all you got is you. And your life is worth protecting. And in some cases, they're attacking your children with you there. I have to ask you. How many of y'all are in a martial arts class? How many of you are reading a martial arts book? How many of you are talking about strategy because they're out here shooting us like ducks? And getting away with it. The LB cheat, the LB, shit, the transsexual community has more laws on the books to protect them than you do. Where you at? And this is not happening in isolated instances, people. You are tax-paying citizens who are being terrorized and you have no representation because you're too busy working trying to take care of your kids, sister. You ain't got time to worry about what's happening on Capitol Hill because you making $10 a motherfucking hour trying to pay rent, keep the lights on, and food in your motherfucking house while brothers are hollering, we can't protect you unless you do what we say. But you want us to help you when you down? Oh, I've been unfriending niggas left and right. Tell me how you really feel. I hear you. And in most instances, sister, you can't even depend on your husband. Because when you get attacked, he's not there. What you going to do? Cuz they love to corner us when they have our when we when we're alone with our children 
They love to attack us when we're alone on public transportation. They love to attack us while we're in establishments. But yet and still, y'all won't take this the legal route. You won't call the police. You won't sue the establishment. That girl at McDonald's has a lawsuit against McDonald's. And I hope she knows it. A multi-million dollar lawsuit. Because she was attacked while on the clock. And the manager did nothing to protect her. Right down to not throwing the assailant out. Or calling the police while he was still in the establishment. Is it McDonald's? Is it McDonald's responsible for protecting their employees while on the clock? And so is every last one of y'all who clock in and out. You have this motherfucking problem on your job? So! Jews do. Let them motherfuckers work for you for the rest of your life. Use your trauma like the Jews did in Auschwitz. They still get it. They still don't need jobs because of their reparations. They, matter of fact, they're, <laughs> they get benefits on your tax dollar and they usually don't work. And we didn't, the United States didn't do it to them. Germany did. But the United States is paying for it. Hmm? And not only is the United States paying for it, also brought over the... Also brought over the Germans that did it to them. These are the people that work at NASA now. That work at the CDC. That hold considerable power in our military complex. And again, this is not man bashing. Brothers that would protect us, please have a seat to the left. I am not talking to you. Operation Paperclip, there you got it. Go look it up. Right down to the fluoride in your water was a technique used in Nazi Germany to make the masses pliable to the programming. And just to let you know, they upped the fluoride in American water, just to let you know. You wonder why your children are just above retarded? And sisters, there's something else that y'all have to remember about us. All of us ain't stable. Some of us came up in houses with lead paint and asbestos and some and some kids ate the toothpaste, man. Remember them kids in school that ate the glue? That shit do shit to you. All of us aren't thinking correctly and can't. We don't want to talk about Pookie being just functionally illiterate. Right? We don't want to talk about his emotional issues. Right? We don't want to talk about Uncle Walter touching all the girls in, in, in the family. Right? But yet, Uncle Walter has touched three generations of girls. And not one of y'all have stuck one of them girls in a martial arts class to beat Uncle Chester's ass. Three generations. You love being victims. That victim suit. Look good on us. 
It look good on y'all. Victim suit don't look good on me. Oh, whoa, it's me. If you wanted to solve your fucking problem, you would have learned war. But you ain't got time for that. It's going to fuck off your edges, right? It's going to fuck off your wig, right? Right? Then you get what the fuck you get. Black woman. And I commend this sister for giving that motherfucker a baker's dozen. Because nobody was coming to her rescue. As a matter of fact, the black man held her back. And like I said, I would have served his ass a two-piece too. He would have walked away with a motherfucking shiner. We can't trust each other. Period. Point blank. Let's just put this shit out there instead of being like, Ooh, black people, black power. We ain't got no power. If we had power, we could stop the Asians from fucking with y'all in their store. But then y'all wouldn't be in that store if there was black power. Cheap nails, cheap eye arch. Y'all sit there and watch a sister. Y'all, I have watched videos where sisters have stood have been in these motherfucking places. Watch a sister get assaulted. Watch her get her motherfucking wallet taken. And still sit there and ask. You still taking clients? Y'all should have toe up everything in that motherfucker. And that's why... Asians believe they can do that when they come here because they can't do that in their country. They go to jail. See, China and Japan don't play that shit. But they come here and fuck y'all off regularly and often and go home laughing about it. Ching chong, ching chong, ching. While that cash register is going. Because that money does not come back into our neighborhood, black woman. I get my eyebrows done by a black man. He does excellent work with his razor. But I'm tired of the black woman. I'm tired of you complaining. I'm tired of hearing your woe with me. I don't want to play violin games with your monkey ass. I don't want you calling me, giving me your sob ass motherfucking stories. I don't care. You're 30. You care. You, you worried about your safety. Get in a martial arts class. How am, I, how am I supposed to make you feel safe over the phone? Oh, you don't want to hurt. Okay. Enjoy that luxury. I don't want I don't want to sweat. Okay. Enjoy that luxury. Uh, Feed my hair. Okay, enjoy that goddamn luxury. Because I have had ass long dreads for as long as I can remember and I have trained. I have had short dreads and, tra and trained. I have been wrapped up and trained. I've had my hair down and trained. I've had it in a ponytail and trained. I've had it in a bun and trained. Depending on what my hair is doing at the time, I might have a debilitation. Because, of course, if my hair is up in a bun, there's no sword training that day. Because I have to clear the bun with the sword. And my bun is about two feet high. What's your excuse? I trained when I was 300 pounds. I trained when I was 200 pounds. I trained when I was 160 pounds. What's your excuse? 
Ugh. I smell slave. Oh, Fundy, I... Bitch, stop crying! Stand up! Put your boxing gloves on! Life is a fight for survival. Stop putting your trust and your protection in people that are not there. If he ain't down for this. Let me say that again. Fuck the black man too. If he is not down. For his woman. Learning war. Fuck him too. And throw every woman to the wayside that doesn't teach her children martial arts. So when she has her mind on something, the children too can be vigilant. Play my game. I'm gonna play my game. You ain't watching shit, your kids ain't watching shit, and you wonder why we're Target. Sitting ducks in churches. Oh, I'm not going to be liked after this. And you know what? I don't care. Because I am tired. I am tired. I had a whole brother. Ooh, sister, I, I saw you at this event and you teach women's you teach women martial arts. No, I teach martial arts, male or female. And I took real fucking offense to that shit. Implying that the only people I teach is women. No, my best students are men. My sucky students are women. Women have come to fucking class. Men, women want to change class times. Ooh, I can't do it now. Even though they cry for it. Man, It's ridiculous. First one not the one to wanna sweat, but the first one to cry. I need protection. <laughs> then protect yourself. Go take a knife fight. Go take a knife fight in class. Go go to the range. That ain't your speed? That ain't your speed? Okay. <clears throat> Go to a baseball camp and swing a bat. Yeah. That's something I do that people don't know about. That you know, I keep my swing arm going. Because I never know what's next to me. And I need to really realize that when I swing a bat at a motherfucker, it's going to make contact. That I'm hitting exactly what I want to hit. But y'all ain't got time to group up. Oh no. I got a whole 8 o'clock Saturday martial arts class. There's one little girl in it. One little girl. Whose mama finally figured out that she was being bullied and brought her to class. 
Now, of course, I'm going to get this. Hey, Fee, you still teaching? I never stopped. I never stopped. But it take too long. Yeah, it do take a while to learn to protect your damn self. Is it free? Fuck no. No. Learning to protect your life is priceless. Free, when's your next free class? Never, 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 never again. Never again. I will never work for free again. Never, 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 never. Because you don't appreciate it. That's why I stopped doing the backyard self-defense class. Don't appreciate it. What do I charge? I was charging $7. I was charging $7 a class to begin with. Then people act like that was too much to pay. So guess what I did? I raised the price. A hundred dollars a month or twenty dollars a class. The hundred dollars a month get you two classes a week. That individual stuff, twenty dollars a class. Oh, uh-uh, Miss K. They was mad. They was mad as shit. Because they wanted it free. I don't work for free. I work for fee. See? <laughs> I work for fee. I like these scarves. I like to keep my eyebrows done. You know, I like stuff like, like, like this, 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 this gold stone, my black gold stone ring. I like stuff like that. I like to keep my henna fly. I like my I like my uh silver nose rings. You know, I need my clay so I can keep my face nice, you know. I need things. I'm not working for free. I didn't get it for free. But I hear that all the time. Oh, see, I'm coming to class. Oh, that sounds like a good price. And come Saturday motherfucking morning, folk right back into their goddamn routine. I was, it that sounded good at the time. It sure did. It sure did. It sounded good at the time. At the time. Because when time come to do it. Let me tell you when I know people are serious. Let, let me let you know when I know people are serious. They prepay. So for all you artists out there. Let me let you know when you know that people are serious about what you do. They prepay. They don't wait till the day of. It's like the Tai Chi class over in U University. Uh, all it was was a donation class. It was a donation class. A donation keeps the class open. I give it to them. They kept, they kept it running for three months. They kept it running for three months. A donation. I didn't say how much the donation was. None of that. Just a donation keeps a class open. One sister paid for a whole month to stay open. I was like, well, damn, they going to backdoor themselves because if she got four weeks paid for, the next person pay a week, that's that next week. Next person pay, boom, it's done. Y'all let that shit run out in three months. And yes, I stopped the class. 
Because I thought that was a sorry, it was the sorriest shit. A child sent me a donation for one dollar. And I let that one dollar ride for a whole month. So you have the one sister that paid for a whole month by herself. You have the, the baby that paid one dollar. And I let that ride for a whole month. Because a dollar to a baby is a hundred dollars to us. That means four donations came in. To keep that next month going. That's sad and sorry. It's sad and fucking sorry. That baby has been without her Tai Chi for two months, even though she let y'all sorry ass niggas ride for a month. You let her down. I, and this is what we do. We don't care. We don't care. As long as it serves us. I'm in Houston. But I'm not isolated. This happens everywhere. Everywhere. I talk to martial artists all the time. Everywhere. There are too many women out here with no martial experience. You weren't protected as a girl and got violated. So you don't know how to teach your girl how to protect herself and not be violated. So you would think that after being in this situation as many black women that have been violated as children. You would think. You would think. You would hope. You would pray. That they would not visit this ignorance onto the next generation. And most of y'all serve your daughters up and your sons to the same predators that fucked you over. Tell mommy if anything happens. Dust that ass if anything happens. See, I had different set of um, I had a different set of 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 commands for my children. No, don't tell mommy shit. You dust that nigga, and I'll come. Dust that motherfucker. And then mommy gonna ride down on that ass. And then we'll leave a little something something for daddy. Because predators are no respecters of age. And they like them young. And y'all like to protect your young ones. I didn't protect mine. I protected them with knowledge. I protected them with understanding. I protected them by teaching them to protect themselves. Rock that motherfucker. Because I was a child that was violated. And I'd be damned if any child around me. I will allow that type of trauma on them. 
I became the answer I wanted as a child. Because nobody was there when I was violated. It was me by myself. There was nobody to call. There was nobody to scream out to. And I never want a child, a woman or man, to feel like I felt that night. I never want a child to feel helpless. I never want a woman to feel like she is not in control of herself. I never want a boy to question his own manhood. Because of a boogeyman. I want us to have children. That enjoy their childhood. Instead of having to survive it. And that cannot happen without knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the situation that we are in. Be real. And let us stop being derelict. In our own duties to learn to protect ourselves outside of other people. Other people have nothing to do with your personal protection. My nation. There was one time I used to say that the only thing we got is us. The only thing you got is you. And the quicker we learn that, the quicker each and every one of us will take the individual effort that is needed to protect the individual, which means each individual in a family will protect the family. Each individual in a family will protect the neighborhood. Each neighborhood will protect the city. But it starts with each one first. And gender counts for not in war. We don't need our men's respect. What we need is to respect ourselves. And then maybe, maybe, in the midst of us protecting ourselves and respecting ourselves, we might get back the respect of our men. But by then, who want it? It won't even be valuable anymore. And that's the problem. Only black people can save black people.
black folk need to save themselves and stop worrying about the fucking collective. Because the collective isn't going anywhere. The collective, as a matter of fact, has taken five steps back from the 60s. Let's be real. Let's throw the rhetoric out of the goddamn door. Because if black folk could save black folk, we would have been saved in the 60s. But they quickly put that down, didn't they? <laughs> you got to give it to him. You got to give it to him, boy. He know how to call a movement. <laughs> he snuffed that 60s and 70s movement out in the 80s. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. It, it, they, we were talking about black love. They were talking about black love. It, <laughs> Then they turned around and started talking about bitches ain't nothing but hoes and tricks. Uh, we were talking about loving each other, black power. Then the easy E slipped in. Told us how to make crack in little bottles, little baby bottles on the stove. We went from loving and living and uniting to these motherfuckers coming in and I'm a gangster. We were revolutionaries. I'm a drug dealer. We used to have rules for this. Then the number one profession for a black woman was shaking her ass. No longer doctorates. Lawyers, activists, folk going to the UN on our behalf. No more of that shit. Oh, no. We got to be in the Lamborghinis. Hmm? We got to get the Brazilian butt lifts, right? Got to put on wigs and shit and dance for master. I'm out of here because I can't go into that. That shit hurts my heart every time I think about it. Little Kim. Look at Little Kim. Little Kim is the poster child for this shit. Little Kim is the poster child for this shit. Huh? 40 years of telling the black woman she ain't shit and the only asset that she has is her ass? Welcome. We heard you. 40 years of telling black men that love don't matter, fuck motherfucking marriage, bitches ain't shit, toss them, use them like Kleenex, Pfft, throw them away. They listened. Welcome. To art impressing itself on real life. And y'all being so easily gullible that you swallowed it hook, line, and goddamn sinker. I don't care if I've made enemies today. So? <laughs> Tell me I'm lying. This is Fundy Fee. You know where to find me. I'm always around Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. This is going up on YouTube. Yes, it is. I'm going to try to take, I'm going to see if I get a strike on this. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take that chance. But yeah, sisters. And, 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 and let us not forget that the sister... The seven-year-old who was shot in that car by the red truck, the white guy in the red truck with the red shirt on, that happened right here in Houston. And I bet you, I guarantee you, I don't see any more of y'all than I have seen. 
This is Fundy Fee. And I always, always got my ear to the street. My ear to the street. My ear to the street. Salam, shalom. In Hutepu. Y'all know where to find me. I'm the Sage Queen. www.masterfundifee.com Yes, that Sage bundle is still being done. The $25 for the two feathers and the two Sage bundles. Hit me up if you need them. Love y'all. I'll be back in a second because I got to do a nature boy thingy right quick on teaching. He's such a dumbass. Love y'all. Peace.